This is Ableton certified Dubspot instructor Thavius Beck introducing a new tutorial series entitled Did You Know? In this series, we'll explore some often overlooked and slightly hidden features of Ableton Live. In fact, did you know that the ping pong delay that ships with Ableton Live has a few hidden settings? One of those settings allows you to change the ping pong delay into more of an old school tape delay. Let's explore this, shall we? If you look here at my live set, I have three different tracks, okay? And I'm going to launch this scene so you can hear it. These are just stems from an old beat. All right, so here we got drums, guitar, and a synth here. So let's just mute the synth and guitar. We're going to concentrate on the drums. And if I look at my A return, I have a ping pong delay on this return. All right. So I'm going to make this delay 100% wet, and I'm going to start sending my drums to this return. All right, so now we got some delay on our drums, and it's being delayed by three sixteenth notes, okay? These numbers right here, this represents uh, the sync rate of the delay, and each number represents a number of sixteenth notes, okay? So this is delaying the signal by three sixteenth notes. And every time we change the sync rate, we can control how the ping pong delay is gonna handle that by right clicking on the title bar, all right? If we look here, there's three different modes for the ping pong delay. Fade is the default mode. And that, again, is gonna control uh, what happens when we jump from one sync rate to the next, all right? So with fade, it's basically gonna be a natural fade from one sync rate to whichever one you jump to. So we're being delayed by three sixteenth notes, now eight sixteenth notes, which is basically a half note. Two sixteenth notes, which is an eighth note, essentially. Four sixteenth notes, which is a quarter note. So as you hear, when we're jumping between these, is a very smooth transition. Okay? Now if we right click and look at this again, there's another mode called jump, which is gonna be a bit more abrupt when you're jumping from one sync rate to the next. That's all fine and dandy, but let's focus on repitch. Okay, this is the cool stuff here. If we select repitch, when we change from one sync rate to the next, it's actually going to either speed up or slow down the delayed signal, much like an actual tape delay. All right, so let's explore this. We're going to start with our delayed signal. Uh, it's going to be delayed every uh, by two sixteenth notes, by one eighth note. All right, so let's play this. Now, if I change the sync rate, notice it sounds like a tape slowing down. Or speeding up. Now one of my favorite things to do with this is to combine that with the freeze feature. Okay, this F button right here, this will freeze uh, whatever's happening with the delayed signal. All right, and just make it loop. So let's try and get something cool to happen. Almost. Not quite, let's see. There we go, that's pretty interesting. All right, so now if we mute the drums, we can hear we got that delayed loop going on, okay, because we've frozen this. We have the ping pong delay in repitch mode, so when we change the sync rate, it's gonna sound like it's speeding up or slowing down. So let's start bringing these other sounds back in now. I got this weird delay, it's like a background texture. Unfreeze it. And I froze another part of it. So anyway, this is a very cool feature and one that is uh, not known by very many people. I actually went to the Ableton headquarters in Berlin and showed this to some of the guys there and they didn't even realize the feature was in it. So there you go, you learn something new every single day. <laughs> anyway, this is Ableton certified Dubspot instructor Thavius Beck signing off, and now you know. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, 
DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.